praise the Lord and welcome to your weekend Bible inspiration. I believe you are doing well in the Lord. May his name alone be glorified. Today too, we thank him so much. Papa, we thank you so much for the gift of another weekend. We know that you have good things for us and we know that your word will lead us to the good things that you have for us this weekend. Thank you so much. Once again, we pray, interceding, O oh God, for all the nations of the world, using Ukraine and Russia as a point of contact. And Papa, we pray the Lord, you have your way in our meeting. We pray that you glorify your name in a special way. Thank you so much that you bless us to bless others too. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Brethren in the Lord, we are still on knowing the will of God. And today we are going to look through the perfect will of God, the perfect will of God, as we've been referring to the scripture for knowing the will of God. We took it from Romans chapter 12, the verses 1 and 2. We'll read through that and then we'll come to the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. So let's hear the word of God. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will Learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. And today we are going to look at the perfect and the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. So, when we say the perfect will of God, the perfect will has already been laid down by God Himself before we were born. So, when we look through Romans chapter 8, the verses 28 to 29, we see that there. And it reads, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Verse 29, For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with himself. And having given them right standing with himself, he gave them his glory. Hallelujah. So we see that the perfect will of God for us, or for every human being, is for the person to come to know the Lord, and then to have Jesus Christ as his or her personal Lord and Savior. And so God's perfect will for our lives is to be born again. Hallelujah. He did this from the foundation of the world. From the foundation of the world. He caused everything to work together. And he says that the things we are going through right now too are things that will give us a hope and a future. He says all things will work together for our good. So when the trials and te temptations that we go through come, they come, we, we should know that it is part of our Christian lives. And it challenges us to stand on the word of God and pray because we now know the will of God for us today. We are learning that his perfect will is for us to know him because he foreknew us in advance. God knew you. He knew me in advance and chose us to become like his son, Jesus. Oh, what a privilege. What a privilege. Jesus. Oh, God has chosen us to become like his son, Jesus, so that his son will be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And so, brethren in the Lord, as brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is our elder brother. 
Jesus is our brother. Jesus is our all. That is why I love this hymn. Jesus, my shepherd, brother, friend, my prophet, priest, and king, my Lord, my life, my way, my end, accept the praise I bring. Hallelujah. And so let the name of Jesus sound sweet in your ears. He is our big brother because God has chosen us to be like him. And he has given us the right. He says that so that his son will be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. God is our heavenly father and Jesus is our big brother. He is our elder brother and he is the firstborn. Oh, he came to die. So that we will also become children of God. And he will become our big brother. And having chosen us, he called us to himself. So before we come to the Lord, God has already chosen us from the foundation of the earth. He called us to come to him to have right standing with himself. That is why the Bible says that. For as many as received him, those who believed in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. He has also given us the right to call him Abba Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And having given us right standing, he has given us glory. God has given us glory by making us joint heirs with the Son. Brethren in the Lord, we need to watch the way we walk, we talk, we do everything. In the perfect will of God, for Moses was to go alone to Egypt to deliver his people. Hallelujah. Although Moses complained, it was God's will that he goes. So he chose Aaron with him. So the whole anointing which was supposed to be for Moses alone, was divided. But we know that all the same, everything that God planned, the perfect will of God for his people, came to pass. In the perfect will of God for Hezekiah, God sent Isaiah to tell him that he would die. Brethren in the Lord, there are some ways that we may think is not right, but it's a perfect will of God. That was the perfect will of God for Hezekiah. Because when you read further, yes, God added 15 years to his age though. But when you read further, you will see that Hezekiah made some mistakes after he pleaded for life. All that we have to pray for is that Father... Let your perfect will be done in my life. Lord, lead me to number my days so that I will have a heart of wisdom. So that I will not do anything at all. We have the right, but it is, it is not everything that befits us. So let us cling on to the Lord and always pray that, Lord, may your perfect will be done. In my life let me see it that it is your perfect will so that I will not go contrary to your will God bless you so much I believe that this weekend you will stay focused and let the Lord lead you may the Lord lead us all through his perfect will may we share his word please share the word and give hope to somebody be a soul winner for Christ be an encourager. Be an evangelist for the Lord. So that if Jesus does not come today, we'll meet next week too for your weekend Bible inspiration. God richly bless you. Enjoy your weekend and stay focused in the Lord. I pray that the Spirit of God will hover around your house, that your, your home will be full of peace. May the peace of God that passes all understanding 
dwell in your heart and in your mind till Jesus comes again. In his mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. If Jesus does not come today, we'll meet on Monday. Praise the Lord. God bless you so much. Bye-bye.